This is not your typical garb for a scientific research facility. Instead of a lab coat, the required uniform is a pair of overalls, a helmet and a flashlight. This is also not your typical lab. In the former gold mine, more than one kilometer underground, researchers surrounded by radioactive elements and complex instruments are seeking to unlock the secrets of the universe. Uh, we're going down a mile, just about, about 4,850 4, feet. That is the lowest working level right now, but this mine actually went down to 8,000 feet. Ten minutes later, the elevator stops. At first glance, it looks like an ordinary mine, although a very neat one. But when you turn right, the interior changes dramatically. At the end of this bright corridor is a very sterile lab. To enter, you must suit up. Just like that, try and leave it loose. But then you can pull this down over top of the other tape. There's that. Uh -huh. Now you're ready. It's not the humans who need protection. It's the humans who could contaminate the delicate research. Scientists are looking at the tiny particles known as neutrinos that first appeared when the universe was created. To study them, researchers need the most sterile of environments. So we've had to come a mile underground to be shielded from the noise. And then we've gone to great lengths, as you can see, to keep radioactivity or anything that would overshadow that energy away from those detectors as we're observing them. All the action takes place in this box, which is tightly closed. A computer okay. spits out all the data. Scientists say by studying neutrinos, they'll be able to answer the central questions of why galaxies, stars and planets have formed in the way they exist now. We want to understand why we're here. At the other end of the mine, the stars are explored. Scientist Mark Hanhart jokingly calls himself the star miner. He says he has always dreamed of exploring the cosmos, but could not have imagined he would be working underground to research stars high above the Earth. We don't look at how the planets themselves form. We look at how the universe creates the elements that the planets need to form in the first place. If there were people studying the bricks that build up a house, we're the guys that study the atoms that make up the bricks. Wow. Yeah, we go really, really fundamental. On average, 70 scientists from different countries work in this underground facility. They say they're on a similar schedule as the gold miners who preceded them, but their work is much less messy. For Lisa Bakalets and Serge Sokolov, this is Marsha Morton, BOE News, Leeds, South Dakota.